Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Just a few minutes ago, I made a video on this, but it was, it's so important. I think it's such a good deal. I thought I'd make a video on just this. This will be about adding uh, special characters or gifts to your text of path. So we're just gonna start and do something totally different. We're gonna make an ellipse. You've gotta go to object and convert it to a curve for this to work. Then go to windows, dockers, and properties. And because it's a curve, this will come up right here. And we're at 31.19. Tell you what, let's change that just a little bit. Let's go um, 0.99 big. And now we're at, well, 99 maybe instead of point. There we go. Now it's 30.82, so it didn't really help us. But, so it doesn't matter what size your circle is. So it's 30.88. I always like typing that out or write, I will write it on a piece of paper uh, just so I'll know. Because now we're going to add special characters. And we're going to start, let's go, uh, let's get our, well, let's just get our text tool. And let's go to uh, text. Yours might say uh, insert symbols. <clears throat> but on mine, the newer version, say gifts. Double click that. And you have all these different symbols and that you can add. And we added a dot. This time we're going to add a, let's add this right here, like a sunshade. So let's go uh, in all caps, just because it would be easier for me. Uh, let's just go Corel Draw. I'm going to have to zoom in. So we've got Corel Draw written out. We'll get our tech tool back. Uh, I'm going to back up one. Hit a space. Double click on that sun. Now this is what I don't understand. You have to click off of it. Get back to your tech tool. Put a space. And then go Corel Draw. Space. Double click on the sun. And see, I wish I could just keep going. I, I'm hoping somebody, I actually said in that other video, I'm hoping somebody will chime in and then go Corel Draw, Space, and the Sun. So that's what we have. Now, if you remember that our path is uh, 30.88, we can get rid of this window. So what we want to do is make this text uh, well, we don't have to do anything. Just go right here, go 30.88. And that made our text. But, well, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to uh, show you what it would look like if you didn't do what I'm fixing to do next. So let's make a, a duplicate of that and move it down here. Now we're going to take this and we're going to text, text the path, put it on our path. But see what it did? It put the sun too close to the, the first letter of the Corel. So what we have to do is figure out the space between here and here. So we're going to take the parallel dimension tool and go from, a, and it's just ballpark. And I'm going to kind of fit that line in the middle. So I'm going to say 0.5. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, let me get rid of that. We're going to take this which is 38.88, take away the inch signs, minus 0.5. Now we're at 30.38. Let's zoom in here. Let's take our text, text the path, put it on our path, and look at that. And then your red dot is gonna be your, you know, in this case, it might not be the center. There's, there's a center, but you'd want that Corel draw down on the center. So look at that. It's evenly spaced, um, and then go to object. You know, a lot of times you have to do this. You have to reselect the whole thing, go up to object, break the text apart, and get rid of your path. And you, there you have it. And you can do that. I mean, 
in those special uh, gifts or symbols, and you can search the entire font, or you can just entire, you know, currency, arrows. Let's see if there's any currency. No currency. There's arrows and currency. So if you're looking for the dollar sign, which your keyboard has, it might not have the cent sign, um, points, you know, you can go back here and um, let's go, uh, we don't want numbers, um, mathematical symbols, you know, equal sign, the greater, you know, that your keyboard has, I keep wanting to zoom in, but you know, there's things like that. So get your text tool, get it going and just double click on that. That right there, would, and it's a vector type format, it's good and clean. There's a lot you could do with that. Left click, right click. Now it is a, what I would do is go and go to object and convert it to a curve. And this is just stuff you could do with it. Let's uh, control D and make a duplicate. Let's move the rotation of that point right there. And now let's rotate it. Uh, it's got to be something even, so we're going to go 45 degrees. Now, Control D, Control D. Well, I think I'm getting off somehow. Um, let me back up here. I don't think it went 45 after that next one. So, Control D, make sure it's still on the rotation. And if you're not good at math, that'd be 170, but not good at math, you can just put 45. 180 then, control D, control D. Now maybe it's just because they'll make line. And then take the whole thing, and because it's a curve, it'll weld. I mean, look at that shape. Um, that would be pretty, you know, there's, this is how I learn how to do things, uh, just by playing. Let's make it a burnt orange. Take away the outline by right-clicking. Let's get the interactive fill tool. Always get off the subject and start going another way. Let's put yellow over there. Let's put red in the middle. I mean, another yellow. Let's put a blue. Anyway, I hope, I'm pretty sure that, that was a big help for me when I kind of stumbled on that and figured it out. Um, anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.